What a good snowfall it was yesterday, too. Just pure powder. Haven't had so, uh, much of that so far this winter, Zuri. Roman was so happy, my puppy. He <laughs> loves the snow. He was thrilled to go out and play in it. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we had a decent amount here in the immediate yeah. Champlain Valley. There were a couple of locations that did underperform. Of course, it's uh, interesting when meteorologists say the storm underperformed. And maybe a more accurate way to say it is, uh, well, maybe we missed the forecast a little bit. Hey, I'll be the first to admit it. We kind of uh, overdid the snowfall amounts in the end because dry air won out, especially in northern New York, just under three inches in Malone. We had about four and a half in Saranac, three inches in Plattsburgh. These are all snowfall amounts as of yesterday evening, but perhaps the area that had the biggest miss in terms of the forecast was right along the international border. You can see many of us barely got to three inches, just really dry air coming down from Canada, totally dried out the snow, and that was something that the weather models never really had a good handle on. But the farther south you went, the higher the amounts were. You could see a widespread four to eight inches from, say, uh, Barnet and Groton all the way to South Burlington, where the official total at the airport was seven inches as of yesterday evening. And farther to the south, more six and seven amounts, 7.1 in Rutland. That was a bit of a surprise. We ended up more snow than a wintry mix. So a little bonus for the Rutland area, 4.8 in North Heartland and 4.2 in West Windsor. So that storm is gone. We're just dealing with leftover snow showers this morning. A light band of snow that stretches from about Maine to, well, central Vermont and then out towards the Syracuse area. There's not too much showing up on radar. There's certainly some light snow that's hiding underneath the radar beam past the spine of the Green Mountains, but you can see from Hinesburg to Bristol and to Westport, New York, not terribly heavy stuff, maybe enough to put down a, an extra dusting on top of what else fell overnight. So we're in the teens and single digits to the north, 20s and 30s down to the south, but the wind will pick up out of the north today could gust between 20 and 25 miles per hour at times, and that'll bring the feels like temperature right to about zero as temperatures hold steady in the teens. Plenty of clouds, lingering flurries. It'll really feel like uh, one of the final days of February, and it'll uh, certainly turn colder overnight. Everybody gets below zero, perhaps 20 below in Saranac Lake. We'll still have the wind in the early half of the overnight, so wind chills could be a little bit colder than that. So let's get you into the weekend. This is early Saturday morning. The skies are clear early, but we'll have clouds coming back in the afternoon. Temperatures only in the teens this day and some patchy light snow showers developing late in the afternoon and evening. And then we'll get you into Sunday, which has more widespread clouds and another chance for snow showers, mainly in the afternoon and evening. You can see the darker blues on Futurecast indicating the potential for some of these snow showers to be on the heftier side. Now we're not talking a lot of snow, another couple inches in the mountains, maybe a dusting in the valleys, and temperatures won't be nearly as cold on Sunday back in the 30s for that day. Monday is nice and quiet, but an early heads up Tuesday looks like we have another round of snow associated with a storm to our south, so we'll keep watching that and check back for updates throughout the weekend. Zuri?